change, that change should be given so that the child do not suffer from a condition called amblyopia or lazy eye. Proper surgical correction must be given. Now, this is part of the surgical technique that we uh, do surgery, we do the follow-up periodically. Even when our, uh, even with best effort, some of these children will require second operation or even after first operation, continuation or supplementation with the medical therapy is required. Sometimes second surgical intervention or further surgical intervention is required. And when that is required, that indicates the disease is of more severe variety and the visual outcome or the surgical outcome is relatively poorer. In milder form of the disease, in our experience of about 25-29 uh, years, 45-50% to 50 of the children acquired good vision to the extent that they, start, they are studying in the normal school, a school for the normal children. Rest uh, will be having some form of visual disability or impairment. And of the rest, 50%, half, about 25-30%, will require uh, some form of uh, magnification, magnifying device, either in the form of uh, spectacle magnify or, uh, you know, magnifying device or telescope for uh, them, for the children to study in the integrated school. Rest, about again 25 to 30 percent, the visual impairment may be so severe that normal schooling or schooling in the normal system will be impossible their visual impairment is so severe. These are the children which will, uh, you know, be, which can be helped by the Braille system of education. Now, we have facility here in the Institute, good evaluation center for, uh, center for sight enhancement and visual rehabilitation. All the children, wherever, this, children or adults, wherever facility or uh, help is required, we refer the chil uh, children and the adults to the Center for Sight Enhancement and Visual Rehabilitation. Now, the challenging situation is on the part of the parents. When the parents understand the vision is so poor that the Braille system of education will be required, they get very frustrated and disappointed. Sometimes the facility in the remote, uh, you know, rural areas, the facility for education of this kind of Braille system is not available. So. Wherever available, we have the registry here, our uh, low vision department or center for sight enhancement guide the parents uh, who are uh, bringing their children from different parts of India where they can get this facility. This is the thing and apart from developmental basis, as Sirisa was telling that some of the children will develop glaucoma because of other reasons, because of trauma is all right because of injury the patient can develop glaucoma cataract and glaucoma patient may have uh, cataract no glaucoma to start with glaucoma in children a cataract in children after operation some of the children in the long run will develop glaucoma and that also uh, has to be treated have to be treated very energetically otherwise permanent vision loss will set in issues of steroid steroid is a very uh, good drug, life-saving and sight-saving, when indicated it should be given. But if it is misused or abused unnecessarily, uh, you know, used for prolonged duration and high doses, it can give rise to steroid-induced glaucoma. Unfortunately, in spite of so much of, uh, you know, effort to create aware awareness in the community, Steroid-induced glaucoma is on the top of the list of acquired glaucoma or atrogenic form of glaucoma. That is because sometimes, uh, you know, because the drug is available over the counter and there is no legislation in our country that steroid should be prescribed and then only it can be available to the patient. That right, I think is not there. Patient who has been benefited by steroid for allergic eye disease, you know, may have been cured for time for the time being. Later on, because of recurrence, the parents may not consult the doctor again or eye specialist again. They can get the uh, same drop, uh, swaying the vial or swaying the prescription, old prescription, and use the medicine indiscriminately. That, that, uh, for that, awareness must be created uh, so that steroid use 
uh, should be done under guidance of uh, eye, eye care specialist. Apart from that, some eye disease like uh, tumor of the eye, any tumor within the eye can give rise to a glaucoma. One important reason is uh, retinoblastoma in children, one of the commonest uh, eye cancer in children. To start with, uh, it may not be evident and it may cause high pressure in the eye and enlargement of the uh, eyeball and eye in the globe. And later on, uh, on proper examination, we detect that this glaucoma is secondary uh, related to tumor growth within the eye. What I mean is a proper evaluation must be done with each and every child to establish that it is primary glaucoma and not related to secondary other cause. If related to secondary cause, that etiology or that etiological factor must be treated in addition to care of glaucoma. There is no direct relationship between uh, type 1 diabetes and glaucoma. However, uh, if uh, diabetes is not really treated properly, any sequelae can happen in the form of uh, retinopathy and that can secondarily cause glaucoma.